Hello my beautiful soul tribe welcome back to my channel this is Neetu uh, today's pick a card reading is to check our energies how it is playing out for the upcoming week that is starting 30th March uh, to 5th of April all right so this is a general reading a general energy update uh, let's find out what is that we can expect how the energies are playing out for us and uh, uh, yeah, let's get started. As usual, I have three piles for you. Pile number one, two and three. Uh, I'll also be placing the object on top of each pile. So you can go ahead and select based on the object or the pile as it is. So once you have made your selection, you can fast forward the video directly to your particular pile. I'll be pinning the timestamps in the description box down below, uh, right under this video. Alright, so without uh, wasting any time, let's get started. I'll be placing the objects right now. Okay, for pile number one, we have this purple rose here. And for pile number two, we have this pink rose. And for pile number three, we have this blue, uh, you know, flower. Uh, so, uh, pause the video if you want to and take your time. And then you can directly jump into your reading by clicking on the timestamp pinned in the description box. Alright, you can pick more than one pile. Do however you feel resonated at this point in time. But I'll be starting with group number one now. Welcome group number one. If you have selected this purple rose, this reading is for you. Uh, let's get started with your tarot cards and then move on to other oracle cards to see what else that you can expect. And this is a general reading, so take however it resonates with you at this point in time. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have a combination of energy here, alright. So, first of all, we have this Ten of Swords. Uh, so, that is a kind of relief. So, don't worry that this uh, man or this person is just fallen on his back and all the swords appears. It's basically like you are this stressed or this worried or this much kind of overthinking that is going on in your head related to whatever the subject or matter that may be concerning you at this point in time because I have pentacles right next to it. It could be related to money, uh, concerns related to how are you going to make money because maybe all of this chaos that is going on around and uh, maybe you are at home and you're not going out maybe you are into business and you're not sure uh, your business will go on loss or there is some sort of fear and anxiety related around money all right so i see that you are definitely kind of worried about how to uh, make uh, the kind of money that you need to pay your bills uh, or that loan has to go from your account maybe it is on auto uh, you know debit and things like that so definitely there are some some amount of anxiety and worry that is happening for you uh, but the confirmation here is do not worry you will know what to do you will know how to begin you will know uh, you know uh, how to find your way through of this because I have ace of wands ace of wands is this new energy uh, Okay, new opportunity or this new clarity that is coming your way, alright? Uh, so, Ace of Wands is always about, uh, you know, victory and uh, uh, that fire energy and you kind of finally feel that it's alright, I know what to do, I, I get over it, I'll find a way out, so... Definitely there is some kind of help that will come or you will uh, kind of understand what to do to get over this, uh, you know, fear around this money, whatever that is concerning you because I'm picking up on money uh, and uh, financial constraints. Uh, so that is what I'm focusing on. But otherwise, just fill in the reading uh, to whichever area that you are feeling anxiety about all right uh, yeah there is a kind of comfort or somebody is going to give you a helping hand or you you will know exactly what you need to do to come out of this situation all right so this is definitely positive yeah you are uh, you are in this anxiety and kind of heavy uh, you know fearful energy but you will get over it Okay, so yeah, I have three of stones, it is three of pentacles, all right, three of pentacles, uh, uh, again, about working for what you want and you finding a way 
through which you can work and bring in more money and abundance and this is a guidance that is coming from uh, outside or from somewhere who is going to guide you uh, who is going to show you the path show you the direction show you that uh, a way from uh, you know how how you can deal with the situation kind of energy uh, that i'm picking up on but uh, overall you're going to get over the situation uh, get over this problem or uh, anxiety and you're going to be absolutely fine and uh, you don't have to worry about the situation whatever is uh, causing this kind of fear within yourself all right and uh, we have this uh, the pilgrim the page of scrolls this is uh, uh, you know page of uh swords actually in the actual tarot this is about clarity again all right this is about taming your mind controlling your mind and telling yourself that this too shall pass i don't have to worry i know how i'll find a way out i trust uh in the uh, universe I, uh, and something is going to work out for me and guess what it does it is definitely going to work out in your favor you don't have to worry at all all right so definitely there is this community or somebody who is going to uh help you in this situation and you're going to gain that clarity and gain that understanding and this could also be a new opportunity or a new business or something of on those sorts you can expect a call or email or uh, somebody uh, you know connecting with you for uh, future business opportunities or things like that so it's absolutely positive as we are speaking about money we have a card addressing the money money find a way to abundance yes you'll be finding a way to make more money more abundance because this is a time where you are kind of uh, uh, probably the whole world is kind of, kind of in a lockdown state so you will be doing a lot of uh, Uh, you know work uh, probably research you you are understanding what is that you want in your business or in your uh, career or what is that what should be your next move how can you bring in more money or with whom you should be partnering in the future so there is a lot of opportunity that is knocking your door uh, in terms of uh, you know giving you uh, or you know ways of making money and bring this abundance into your life all right so keep your mind uh, open keep your uh, Uh, eyes and ears open because there is something that is coming your way uh, in in the form of communication all right i'm i'm definitely hearing the word communication so it could be uh, digital communication like call email or somebody approaching you for a business opportunity and things like that this is going to be in your favor and uh, this is going to bring in lot of abundance and money for you in the future all right friendship nurture your friendship Yes this is the time where you will be nurturing your friendship and also I'm getting a kind of link to this particular situation so you're going to uh, you know have this opportunity or make this uh, whatever the business deal or anything that is related to your work uh, with this particular person all right this friendship or there is someone whom you have met already in the past or something new or somebody new who is going to enter your life or you communicate with this uh, old friend and you both uh, end up having this business conversation and you both think of starting your own venture and things like that so there is something about friendship if you feel like uh, giving a call to uh, any of your old friend uh, or um, or somebody like that do not ignore those feelings go ahead and uh, call and connect with that particular person it is going to be very very beneficial uh, for you you guys have a similar goal and similar vision in a way uh, so when you connect with this person probably you kind of click off and uh, you know exactly what to do to bring in more abundance and money uh, that is absolutely beautiful uh, you know to do all your homework at this time when uh, there is nothing much we can do we can't go out so this is the time we can all all do our homeworks and plan what is that we have to do in the future what business opportunities that we have to take and things like that okay pause respite time out and also please take this time out what is that i'm getting is once this period of lockdown and the uh, all this chaos subsides and things starts to get get back to normal you're going to get busy all right so this is the time where you really relax rest and think all your opportunities think what is that you can do differently in your life to bring in more money uh, to sort of do your research in in terms of uh, you know uh, different ways of uh, you know doing uh, your regular work uh, and uh, 
uh, something on those lines that, that I'm picking up, you guys. So there is something related to your uh, way of thinking and perspective that is going to change in terms of making money, bringing in business, bringing in orders or uh, doing that work in a different way, which is going to be very appealing to others and going to bring a lot of abundance in a way. Okay, so this week it is going to be about ways uh, different ways of you making uh, uh, your business or job or career uh, successful and uh, you venture forward uh, without being uh, you know afraid and know that things are taken care and having that faith in the god in the universe and the divine and know that uh, this too shall pass and you're going to get back to your game okay the last card is i let go of all expectations I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself. I know that only good awaits me at every turn. Yes, you are overthinking a lot of things and uh, uh, you have a kind of expectation set already and now is the time where all the expectations are turning upside down. This is creating a lot of anxiety and worry uh, in you. So do not worry. Let go of the expectation because things are going to take a different turn, different road and uh, yet it is going to bring you all the abundance and money that you require for you to live comfortably all right uh yeah that's all i'm getting for you group number one hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel if you liked and uh, see you in my next video bye bye welcome group number two if you have selected this pink rose this reading is for you so let's get started uh, this is the general reading so try to fit the reading according to your situation whatever is going on around you wow this is amazing and wonderful for you group number two i understand because of all the heaviness going around it's difficult to digest the word it is all looking good but actually it is it is looking good for you all right we have this judgment card this is about self-reflection this is about uh, uh, looking back uh, the way the path that we took and what all that happened and your past experiences what all the lessons that we have learned from all the experiences that we have been through in the past and this is where you accept acknowledge all the lessons that you have learned and finally move on uh, uh, from your past and you know uh, get into the future with confidence with poise and with uh, uh, this this new energy of uh, you know uh, going and uh, getting yourself that victory victory and success and that is the kind of energy i'm getting for you uh, group number Two. So judgment is about uh, is all about you reflecting on your life and understanding that what is really important to you or what is not and letting go of the stuff that is really not helping you in your life. It could be thought people or the clutter or anything that is not serving the purpose in your life anymore okay and with this high priestess right next to it high priestess is about mystery she has the knowledge she is the kind of uh, uh, you know uh, the gate uh, way between uh, uh, the other realm and us she has all the information she has all the knowledge all the mystery uh, she knows everything if you can see she has the scroll in her hand it, it has the answers to all your questions all right it it is just that she will wait for us to learn the lessons so that she can hand over our next step or reveal our next step and tell us to take that direction. She just shows us clues and hints and tells us to take this direction, this path and things like that. So there is a kind of mystery or revelation that is going to happen group number two. There is a new kind of understanding and this revelation will show you this new path, new direction, new way of thinking, new way of living. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this new way of living and, and understanding life in a very uh, meaningful way. Okay, so that is exactly where you are headed towards. And the star card is ultimate wish fulfillment card. All right. With the hermit, with the star, with the high priestess, this is highly spiritually, uh, you know, connected group. With the judgment card. I mean, all the three cards... In fact, all the five cards are major arcana. This happens very rarely. I mean, I'm just noticing it. The emperor, the hermit, judgment, high priestess, the star. These are all all high, uh, major arcana, which means the major life lessons. So definitely this is that 
period for you to reflect on your life and understand and integrate all the life lessons that you have learnt in the past all right so ba basically you are kind of completing a cycle wrapping up things and letting uh, decluttering everything and ready to move on once this chaos and all the conflicts and everything that is happening around the world once th once things subsides you are on roll <laughs> all right and uh, this is going to be amazing journey for you after everything uh, you know settles uh, but yeah as of now it is about wish fulfillment it is about uh, your soul's journey is absolutely going in the right direction so this is a week where you will be spending some time on self reflection and uh, what are the questions you have in your mind in your soul that is going on for quite some time it will be answered to you in a very mysterious uh, way group number 2 it could be uh, suddenly uh, you know Uh, a video you know a youtube video pops up which has a answer for you or uh, or uh, or that uh, you you'll be reading a book and there there will be the answer that you seek and there is something mystery element of mystery that is there which will reveal your next step or the next path towards your life journey okay so definitely the wish is getting fulfilled and this is also about healing there is some sort of deep healing that you are in and probably you are probably going through a spiritual awakening process where uh, where you feel too heavy too dense at times so because of all the heavy emotions happening around you or within your life itself and you feel really uncomfortable but this too shall pass because of the healing all the past will surface so that we can look at it closely and release it past surf past surfaces not because to you know create chaos it is just to show that it is still there in our energy field so we can take a deep look and then release it not to get into or sucked into that uh, whirlpool of thoughts it is to acknowledge and release uh, that is what you should be doing this week acknowledging and releasing any past that surfaces uh, to you this week group number 2 uh, there is a lot of spiritual help and spiritual healing that is going on within your body within your soul within your mental body and uh, this is going to be very important a crucial period for you in your life with the emperor card this is about your life is again getting back into its uh, uh, you know in into that stable state all right so there is lot of wobbly uh, it has been for quite some time you are reaching to that place where you finally feel comfortable and stable and organized again all right so this is a very healing and a self reflective week for you group number 2 and this is the right time to do that because uh, there is nothing much we can do if you are in this lock uh, lockdown uh, situation in your uh, place wherever you live opportunity knocks go for it yes there is some sort of opportunity uh, or there is something that will be revealed to you do not hesitate go for it all right it could be that online course it could be uh, uh, anything that is going to help you in your uh, journey in your soul's journey pick up that opportunity or sign into that course or sign into that uh, whatever that is which is going to give you more knowledge and wisdom and guidance to go forward uh, in your journey yes moving forward get ready for positive changes you have been in this heavy energy for long time so this is the week where you'll be finally seeing that positive changes forward all right whatever this opportunity is whatever that gut feeling that comes in for you to Uh, you know uh, do the right thing go for it grab that opportunity do not hesitate it is your soul urging you to take action towards uh, uh, whatever that you are asking for your answer is hidden there okay confidence pride poise assurance look at that we were talking about poise we were talking about confidence yes this is the week where you will finally feel confident again poised again happy and comfortable in your energy or at least you are going towards that all right if you are still feeling heavy and drained and things like that you will feel good all right this is a proper uh, you know a very strong confirmation and assurance that this too shall pass and you are going towards all the uh, abundant organized fulfillingly uh, life ahead so do not uh, worry 
And the next card is my income is constantly increasing. Surprisingly, even the group number one, uh, we got a lot of cards about money and abundance. I begin of today to open myself to ever increasing prosperity. Yes, uh, because of all this lockdown and uh, and all this heaviness that is going on we are definitely worried about the income and uh, how are we going to manage and things like that do not worry it will be taken care and uh, uh, just keep yourself calm centered and grounded at this too shall pass not to uh, worry uh, allow yourself to get healed surrender uh, to the divine and allow the process to happen and to take its natural course and things are going to be absolutely fine and this is a self-reflective week for you so anything that surfaces from the past it is for you to acknowledge and release and allow the healing to happen not to go with the flow again get sucked into that turmoil of that uh, chaotic emotional uh, baggages that you went through in the past all right uh, yeah, that's all I'm getting for you group number two. If you have liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Welcome group number three. If you have selected this flower, this particular reading is for you. And this is a general reading. Uh, so take whatever resonates with you and fit the reading according to your situation. Whatever is happening around. Okay. Okay, group number uh, three, let's get uh, started. So with this card, uh, this is the card which is drawing my attention right here. Uh, so this is the card about you know uh, overthinking and uh, and also about holding on to things very tightly so that you will not lose. And this is about you know you you being really uh, worried about uh, uh, losing something or and you're obsessing over that and you're overthinking about that and you're kind of uh, not letting uh, yourself free and not letting the other person to be free if you are involved with somebody and things like that you're kind of fighting for what you uh, what you believe to be true and uh, there is some sort of illusion that is there and there is some sort of uh, you know uh, all up in the air and in the head lot of uh, illusion that is happening for you group number uh, three and this illusion is not true whatever you're holding on to so tightly you will not lose it all right the more you hold on to it that is when the problem is so this is the time for you to let yourself free let yourself and allow yourself to be free give yourself permission uh, to be free with whatever this compulsive thinking or compulsive need to control or control yourself or to control others or you're trying to prove yourself to somebody or there is something about you trying to gain control over something or gain control uh, over uh, uh, you know your beliefs and your thoughts so there is something about that all right and this is really uh, making you uh, sad this is making you feel uh, uh, stressed uh, this need to control is really making you feel stressed out a lot all right so this is the week where you'll have to release control and allow things to happen on its own and uh, 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 you know expectations or uh, uh, you know need to control the situation or to control others because there is a lot of uh, controlling energy that I'm getting and this card is about you know you standing your grounds and not giving up that is a good thing you're not giving up but you'll have to relax a little bit because it is draining your energy in some way all right whatever is meant to be will be yours so do not worry and allow things to happen let things uh, go smoothly and you go with the flow do not try to control yourself or others or the situation or the outcome and do not keep any expectations in life uh, in terms uh, especially when others are involved do not keep any expectation that is what is going to ruin the relationship uh, and ruin our peace of mind so allow things to happen naturally because with this knight of stones it is knight of pentacles and knight of cups and uh, both the energies are very very slow movement all right uh, you uh, i mean you you 
are not like that you kind of want things to you know happen in a certain way and you want to experience things in a certain way or you want somebody to uh, you know be in a certain way for you and maybe that is not happening and you are really feeling stressed out about it and worried about it in a way and uh, this is the time for you to uh, you know let go of it let go of the control and just be let go of the control and just be that is the mantra for you group number 3 uh, this is the week where you finally go in the flow and not worry about how things are going to turn out so please fit in the reading whichever situation you are feeling the need to control and prove yourself or uh, uh, tell the other person that this is what you want all right this could be in a relationship also maybe you are staying uh, together for a very long time because of this all lockdown and stuff like that and you feel really insecure the way other person is behaving and you have this need to control and things like that this could be one of the possibility so that is the kind of controlling that i am talking about all right and we have papa like by here and this is strength all right the strength is Uh, you have to execute uh, you know showcase your strength you have to uh, get inside and find that place of strength for yourself group number 3 all right you already have this capacity to let go of things and just be be on your own be in your own energy and being comfortable and that needs lot of strength that needs lot of courage because that that is not you and this is a new way of living so definitely this is this situation is teaching you how not to be in that place of uh, constantly uh, trying to control the outcome or a situation or the person and leave everything behind and just be and going with the flow so that is something that you are learning and probably this week is going to be very prominent for you around this situation all right so see however it is resonating with you group number 3 yeah go with the flow let things happen don't try to control let things happen just ride that wave go don't go against the wave it is going to hit you bad go with that wave ride that wave all right so that is very important for you group number 3 let go and go with the flow let things happen for you naturally release the control release the need to know everything release the need to have a very strong expectation when other people are involved especially because that is going to steal your peace of mind stand up for all animals so probably you are a animal lover or the other person is an animal lover or you have an animal at home or there is something about the animal bond uh, uh, probably that is something a general a reminder for you to be mindful of the animal uh, of all the animals around you or probably uh, you are having this very strong spirit animal who is guiding you to give you strength or giving you that uh, uh, you know courage at this time if you are seeing Uh, the any particular bird uh, you know fluttering around and you take notice of it again and again it is your spirit guides telling you to be free and go with the flow again this woman she is riding and she is like going with the flow she is free uh, she is comfortable being that way so there is a kind of very uh, a very important and very distinct message that i am receiving for you group number 3 is to be like uh, you know that bird uh, i am very strongly getting your spirit animal is a bird all right it could be a he eagle hawk or a crow or something like that uh, especially eagle and hawk who are absolutely uh, in their Uh, comfortable in their territory and uh, just being there and uh, things like that so any birds or animal that you see often it is a reminder for you that your spirit guides are around at this time trying to give you that courage and strength that you need to learn this life lesson all right solitude rest ponder and sanctuary and we have all here your spirit animal could be all as well um you have lot of birds i have fish here and there is lot of animal energy coming through so there is a animal spirit guide that is around you at this time who is giving you this strength and courage okay and loving is about new beginning so this is a very positive uh, number 
so definitely this is a week where you'll be resting and pondering around this subject and i feel a little intense energy where you may feel low you feel really constrained you feel like oh my god i can't take it anymore and you finally break out of this you you're going to break this cycle all right Uh, so just just look around or don't look around or just see or observe which animal or bird that is very prominent that you see again and again so that that is your spirit guides all right who is really trying to give this message to you to be free uh, to be comfortable in your own energy and uh, you don't have to wait for the other person uh, you know to be the way you want them to be so that is a very big life lesson that you are going through right now group number 3 yes i see clearly i willingly forgive i breathe love into my vision i see with compassion and understanding my clear insight is reflected in my outer sight yes i see clearly now so you are finally <laughs> you are finally free you have let go of all the control issues and the need to control and things like that you are finally free you are just going with the flow you are not controlling anymore all right this is the life lesson that you are going through so you will see that very clearly this week because you cannot be in that energy anymore you are going to break this pattern this cycle for uh, you know once for all okay yes so that's what i'm getting for you group number 3 if you have liked the video if it has resonated with you please subscribe to my channel see you in my next video bye bye